Cruz. Some of y'all know me and some of you don't. And for those of you that know me, you really don't know me. I was born in Berkeley County Hospital. And a few days later, my, my parents, they, they took me home for a 10 foot wide mobile home park on the edge of the town of St. Stephen. A couple of years later, uh, they had brought me home a brother and a sister. And I shared a bedroom in that 10 foot wide mobile home with my brother and my sister. My father drove a fuel truck for his father, and my parents wanted nothing more than for me to have a good quality education and to have a good quality of life. And they struggled hard and was able to afford the tuition to send myself and my brother and my sister to a small independent school. I graduated and was the first in my family to ever attend college. Went to Clemson University. And while I was there, two significant things happened. One, I met a wonderful woman named Carol. Uh, she later became my wife. And I also came to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And my life has never been the same. I graduate, and, and the next year Carol graduates. And she's a teacher at Macedonia Middle School. And she teaches eighth grade science where all the children are insane because they're crazy when they're in the eighth grade. <laughs> and, and she, she, she shared her frustrations with me. And she also sharing that paycheck with me because we were taking her paycheck. And we were building a little convenience store. Took 50 bucks to the Berkeley County office building. That afternoon I returned home with a building permit. I handed her one shovel, I got the other shovel, and we started digging the foundation that very day. Uh, the business prospered. It did. I was able to build another store and another store. And before long, I had, had a multi-million dollar ongoing corporation. And, and, and while I'm having stores, I'm also having children. The family's growing and getting bigger and bigger. And I want what's best for my kids. What an opportunity that I was blessed with that when I inherited what every one of us inherited as an American. The chance to succeed or fail based on our behavior without any guarantees for the government, believing and charting our own course in our life. What a blessing. And, and understand that government was impeding on my life and my freedom because I was building another store across the street from that first store. I go to get the building permit and they hand me a booklet. Fill this out and come back to us. Eight months later, at a cost of $32,000, I finally got that piece of paper that used to take me one day to get before I could stick a shovel in the ground. At that time, I realized that my kids are not going to have the same opportunities that I have. I get involved in government. Not only does my senator not understand my problems, he doesn't care. I throw my hat in the ring, and lo and behold, I get elected to the Senate. I'm going to change the world, and then I found out a lot more about politics. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> I put the last 12 years, I stood for conservative principles. I put forth the policies that our state needs to move forward. I've been there. I've worked with Republicans. I've worked with Democrats. And I'm disappointed in the results that we've had because my youngest son is now 10 years old. When he was born, his share of our state debt, not the federal government, because we know, we know there's problems there, but sometimes we get happy about our state government. But in our state, gov state government, my son, when he was born, his share of our state debt was $2,500. On his 10th birthday, his share of our state debt was $7,000, done under a Republican General Assembly with a Republican governor, and that is not acceptable. At some point, we've got to say, we're no longer going to steal from our children. We're no longer going to put their futures at risk, because never will our kids have the same opportunities that I had when I grew up. There's only two types of political philosophies, only two. One is in the firm belief in the individual and the individual choice, that you are responsible for your behavior and not the government, and the choices that you make to take, dictate the life that you have. The other, the other, the only other political philosophy is that some people will make bad choices, therefore we need government to make those choices for them. It starts out with a little bit and then a little bit more, and before you know it, our freedoms have been taken away, and that is evident nowhere in the world like the continent of Asia, the country of Korea. Fifty years ago, that country embarked on two different types of philosophies. Those in the North got the benefit of having a government that loves them so much that it decided to make all their decisions for them. 
In North Korea, in March, a report came out, 40% of that country's population is in danger of starvation. Over the last 10 years, two and a half million people have died of starvation. They walk around bent over because their bellies hurt, because they can't put enough food in their stomachs. But in the South, they got to choose a government that believed in freedom, and today South Korea has the world's 13th largest economy. The question for us today, which government do we want our children to live in 50 years from now? I'm more concerned for this country than I've ever been in my life. I spent a dozen years trying to do the right thing, and I'm one of 46 in the Senate, but as your governor, I will be one of one, and I will put forth the policies to stop the reckless spending, to create the jobs that we need to fuel this state, to make this state a better place, because there's other states that aren't doing so well. California is an example. Their entire economy is collapsing in on itself. Those states that can mind their own business, that can understand what it takes, so children can have a future, will receive the economic benefit of that. Businesses and industries are fleeing that state, but they're going to states like Texas because they've got their fiscal house in order. We get our fiscal house in order, we will reap the benefits. This economy is going to turn and things will get better. For these reasons and for other reasons, I've decided to seek the office of governor. And for faith, and for family, and for freedom, I'd ask that you join with me in this campaign. Thank you. Hey, hey!